it's me, Jesse. I'm one of the tour guides from Destination Solar System over at the Intuitive Planetarium. Thanks to the Planetarium and the folks at the U.S. Space and Rocket Center, I'm actually sending you this transmission all the way from the year 2096. I wanted to send you guys this transmission to talk about all of the cool things that you can see from your own backyard, like constellations. So, what constellation are we talking about today? Let's talk about Canis Major and Canis Minor, Orion's two hunting dogs. When you're looking for Orion in the southwest, you may notice a bright point of light just a little lower in the sky. Is that a planet? Well, it's certainly bright enough to be a planet. But that's actually the star Sirius. Sirius is the brightest star in our night sky and is part of an asterism called the Winter Triangle. Winter, of course, is the optimum season for viewing the Winter Triangle as it reaches its highest point in our night sky. But we can still see it well into spring as it lowers toward the horizon. To find the rest of the Winter Triangle, look for the red star, Betelgeuse, in Orion's eastern shoulder. Betelgeuse is an old star that sometimes varies in brightness. In January, Betelgeuse was dimmer than it has been in the last 30 years. <laughs> it's been getting brighter since early February, and we can watch it become brighter now from night to night. Once you find Betelgeuse, you can look to your left for another bright star. That is Procyon. Betelgeuse, Sirius, and Procyon form a big triangle in the sky, such that all three sides look to be about the same length. Once you've found Sirius and Procyon, you've actually found two more constellations. If you've read the Harry Potter books, you might have already guessed what these constellations are. They are Canis Major and Canis Minor, the big dog and the little dog. Now, you actually could probably see some of the other stars in Canis Major kind of looks like a stick figure of a dog in the night sky. Canis Minor, though, only has one other star. And depending on where you are, it might be pretty tricky to spot. Canis Major and Canis Minor are sometimes said to be the hunting dogs of Orion. <laughs> they help Orion to hunt some of the other animals in the night sky, like the rabbit, Lepus. Lepus is a constellation just below Orion's knees, to the right of Canis Major. Its brightest stars make a shape that looks a little like a, well, a bucket. <laughs> there are lots of other animals pictured in the night sky as well. What animals can you imagine? Make sure you keep an eye out here for any future updates. I'll be sure to send more transmissions from 2096 as soon as I get the chance. Until then, take a peek at your own night sky and see if you can find the constellations that we talked about today. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.